Hi everybody. Here we have a window which has the shape of a rectangle surmounted by an equilateral triangle as it says. Also it says that perimeter of the window is 16 meters. So we need to find the dimensions of the rectangle that will produce the largest area of the window to get the maximum amount of the lights. So let's start how to do that. Dimension of rectangle say length x height y and the side of the equilateral triangle is x. So let's find first the height of this triangle using Pythagoras theorem as this square root 3 by 2 x. Then we need to find the area. Area means rectangular area x, y and then area of the triangle have base into height. So this is the expression for area. Now, we need to find the perimeter. Already it is given in the questions, perimeter of the window is 16. Only we need to add those perimeters. I mean x, 2y and 2x equal to 16. Now, we need to find y from this equation. Then that y we will substitute here in the next slide. Another important thing, once we get the equations for area, our task will be to find the first derivative of this area with respect to x because as it says to find the largest area of the window, so surely first derivative we have to assume equal to 0. And then we will check also second derivative is it given I mean is it giving the result negative or less than zero then we will be hundred percent sure that we are getting largest area of the window so let's move ahead to see how to find those As I said, from perimeter equations, we have to find y. Then we will substitute this value in area equation. I mean, here it was y. Already we put the value for y. So this is the equations for area. Now, we need to find the first derivative. As I said, to get maximum or minimum area, we have to apply that first derivative equal to 0. How? We need to differentiate both sides of this equation. Then we get this. Now our task will be this right hand side. This part will be equal to 0 to get maximum or minimum area. So let's do that. So, this 8 minus 3x plus square root of 3 by 2x equal to 0. So, from here we can find x equal to 16 by 6 minus square root of 3. This x 
we'll use it later but first we need to read this line what it says if dy by dx equal to 0 already we used it i mean putting 0 already we found value for x now our task will, will be to find the second derivative to see the result is coming less than 0 or not so let's do that this is first derivative so second derivative will be this and look at second derivative we got the value which is negative so it is satisfying this now we need to see if i apply this load x value it will be same thing because here there is no x but we have to use this value already it was differentiated for the second derivative we got with this constants so it says that this is less than zero because here we see it is less than zero now as it is less than zero So area will be maximum. So we need to get two dimension. Number one is x. Number two is y. More refined way. We can write the dimension of the rectangle. x will be this as it is what it was. And y will be more refined in this way. And it is the results for y. So we got x and y both the dimensions we got and our area will be maximum with these two dimension x and y so i think we are done with this problem